Shalom, this is Gamali Allah out of Great Millstone, Atlanta. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, Devil Lines to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the Akim that are pushing out this truth and sincerity, all right? It's going to be a quick lesson, all right? And it's going to be entitled um, The End of Hot Girl Summer and the Time of Women Being Humbled. Is approaching okay um, now uh, you know uh, through the spirit um we've got this a lot of brothers have been um, chiming in on this um, this uh, female prophet all right madness okay uh, because uh, you had this I don't know her name but you had this uh, chick basically talking about uh, she's a female prophet or whatever and, um, you know, I was just thinking, um, you know, the, the time for these women, for these women to be humbled is at hand. Okay. Um, and it, it's just gotta happen. All right. It's, 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 uh, inevitable and it's overdue. Okay. Um, these women have, have just, their pride is just, is, is, out of this world okay all right um so anyway let's uh let's start with this uh hot girl summer thing let's go into what it is um i'm sure you uh brothers that are that are uh brothers that are that are in 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 tune with the urban culture and and slang i'm sure brothers have heard this term all right um uh, it was started by uh, Megan The Stallion. This anyway, this is Urban Dictionary on what Hot Girl Summer Summer is. It says um, Meg Megan The Stallion, the creator of Hot Girl Summer, said it best. Uh, Hot Girl Summer, is just being you, just having fun, turning up, driving the boat, and not giving a damn about what nobody's saying. Okay. All right. Um, so basically, this is this is um, basically, uh, uh, in other words, this is a this is a, I guess, um, sugar coated way of of being a hoe. Okay, just being you, just having fun, turning up. Okay, this whole party culture, doing what you want to do. Um, do as thou wilt, okay? That's um, what Hot Girl Summer is about, okay? Um, here's some more. I'm just going to go just get a couple of definitions. These are from people that, you know, it's Urban Dictionary. Uh, a Hot Girl Summer is the summer where girls take over and express their inner hope. Hot girls no longer care for the male gender and are no longer living by social constructs. The hot girl gang sign is made by twerking. Okay. So this is the truth. This is this is basically uh, for females to let let out their to express their their inner hope. Okay. Um, let's see. Says, hot girl summer, a, a term unspokenly used as a description for whole shit. A whole, a hoe's anthem. The a, the continued legacy of whole coat of whole culture. Yeah, so basically that's all it is. Is basically anytime you can be unap unapologetic, unapologetically you. Because that's what they say. Be unapologetic unapologetically you or whatever anytime you basically uh give women the the right to do whatever the hell they want okay that is whole culture okay you just be you just have fun you know uh fuck as many dudes as you can okay um and a lot of times um 
uh, Megan Thee Stallion, you got this other group, the City Girls, uh, they'll, um, you know, they'll promote, um, they'll promote basically, uh, um, how do I say, um, uh, tricking, all right, tricking, tricking off on a guy, or in other words, um, you know, basically using, using, uh, guys for money, okay, all right, usually in exchange for sex, but anyway, um, like I said, this is Hot Girl Summer, all right, we're gonna get into the, we're gonna get into the scriptures, okay, because the Lord is against Hot Girl Summer and anything of this nature, man, and, um, the time of women being humbled is, is, <laughs> it's needed, okay, you got, a phrase that has basically taken over the summer and it's it's the whole it's just like whole culture all right it's basically rooted in whole culture whole culture all right so um we'll start with this Isaiah 3 and 16 moreover the Lord the Lord said because of because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk walk with stretch forth necks and wanton eyes Walking and mincing as they go and making a tink tinkling with their feet. Yeah, so basically, in other words, let's get that word ha haughty. Because um, basically, uh, these women are, are, are basically what they're saying is they're proud, okay? It says... Um, Walk with stretch for stretch forth necks, okay. They basically have that stuck up, they're stuck up as hell. Wanton eyes, basically meaning they um, their eyes are everywhere, okay. And the scriptures say this is an adulterous generation, all right. So this place is through, man. Let's get that word hearty. Hearty is a uh, goodbye. It says to be high, exalted, lofty, so proud, basically proud. Let's get um another definition I want to get is one time is sequar. So, so uh, blink uh, coquettishly. Okay, basically seductive. Okay, with their eyes. Let's get that word. Tinkling with their feet. Basically means to rattle. Because a lot of times, well, you know, in the ancient world, women would uh, have uh, 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 ankle jewelry. Okay. And that was basically like a... a, a you know, a, I don't want to say promiscuous thing, but basically, you know, that was, that was, you know, um, uh, the culture. All right. But here you have the culture. Basically, there's no new thing under the sun. So just like the daughters of Zion back then being, um, being promiscuous and let's get that word promiscuous. All right. Um, uh, Online. Promiscuous is mingled, confused, mingled people or things mingled confusedly, grouped together without order. Okay. This see, so these women being promiscuous is basically they're out of order, man. Hot girl summer is just. Let's go back to it. Hot girl summer, turn, turning up, just being you, having fun, turning up, chasing the bag, okay, not worrying about, basically not worrying about um, anything, man. All right, not being concerned with, with what's going on. Here's uh, the, the chick, she said... Uh, Let's see, uh, hold on one minute.
here's some uh some people some chicks that basically uh uh want to know i mean that that basically are describing hot girl summer it's about living my best life feeling like a bad man and doing what i love to do being you being independent enjoying yourself and not caring see that's the thing not caring these people don't give a damn they don't care about nothing man all they care about is themselves and that's why that's why this generation is so um uh i want to say uh they're, they're so self self-centered okay they're self-centered and they're um they're obsessed with themselves okay there's a word for it. it's not coming to me um narcissistic okay uh girl is whole season period what makes a hot girl summer your attitude and your vibe is 2019 a year for women to do what they want to do it's about being a bad bitch and role reversal live your best life guys always talk about getting girls and we love Meg because she's doing exactly what they do unapologetically all right so basically this whole hot girl summer it promotes promiscuity let's get that word promiscuity again mingled confusedly grouped together without order so basically they're promoting women not being in order they're promoting being hoes they're promoting uh women just doing whatever the hell they want to do and that and that comes with consequences okay see what what people don't realize is this is what ruined what what these these hoes <laughs> don't realize is they've ruined um th this is what's ruining the family structure okay but then they wonder why no man respects them they wonder why they can't they wonder why they black women are, are always single moms all right it's because of this okay because they they have promoted this whole um independence of the woman okay so matter of fact let's get um another preset i don't want to be too long-winded this is um uh one second uh let's get this uh, Ecclesiasticus 26 and 9 the whoredom of a woman may be known by her haughty looks and eyelids right so um, basically going back into uh, going back to um, going back to their haughty look okay that proud look okay and all these women are proud as hell they all wear makeup and it's crazy because now it's to a point where all these went like it's it's more affordable or it's more accessible for for a woman to look quote unquote good okay i mean you look at you look around and all these women you know it, it's more affordable all these women they, they look good okay they look enticing all right they it's cheaper to get ass injections ass injections lip injections cheap cheaper to get their uh boobs done right so let's get um uh, let's get this one isaiah 32 and 9 rise up ye women that are at ease hear my voice ye careless daughters give ear unto my speech yeah careless didn't we just read that it's, didn't it say um basically not caring uh, year for women to do oh enjoying yourself and not caring is the key 
Let's read it again. Many days and years ye shall be troubled, ye careless. No, rise up, ye women that are eased. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. So this is the Lord talking to you women and basically calling you careless, man. Because these women, they don't give a damn, man. They don't give a damn about, about anything but themselves. And that's dangerous, man. Like I said, that basically takes... What that does is it takes the morality away from, from society, okay? It takes the role. The role of the woman is supposed to be a helpmate and tend to the, tend to the house and tend to the children. But Hot Girl Summer is about the complete opposite. Woman was created to, to tend to the house, tend to the, tend to the children. Hot girl summer, you can't be a, you can't, you can't tend to the house and tend to the children and celebrate hot girl summer. It just doesn't work like that. This is neglect. To, to celebrate hot girl summer or to promote hot girl summer, not caring, that's neglecting, neglecting your role as the woman, neglecting your children, neglecting your man, all right? If, if a woman has a man, all right? But this whole single lifestyle is dangerous, man, okay? Because it diminishes morals, okay? It diminishes the woman's role, okay? And, and then, you know, women wonder why we look at them as, ho as hoes, okay? You look on social media, you look on, you look in the, you know, you go to the, any of these lounges or clubs, all you see is women shaking ass as if that's the only thing that they can do. As if that's the only thing that they're worth is is twerking. That's that's the the that's what they've that's what they've um lowered themselves to is is a is a ass. Can you can a can a girl shake and you can ask any any black woman, they all, if, if you were to ask any black woman, they all, if they don't have a fat ass, they want one, okay? All right? Um, let's keep going. It says, many days and years shall you be troubled, you, care, you careless women. For the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Yeah, you're going to be troubled. You're going to be humbled, okay? Extremely humbled because you're going to realize, damn, I've been celebrating this hot girl summer. I've been doing all this. And they're going to be shamed, okay? Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Uh, be, be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you. And make you bear and gird sackcloth upon your loins. Yeah, they're going to be ashamed, man. They're going to be basically... Uh, once, once, um, once this thing goes down... Because all, all it takes is... All it takes for women to be put back in order, which is under the man, all right, uh, is, is for basically... Uh, 911 the 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 emergency line to to go out to go out of service as soon as that happens when when women can no longer call the police you're going to have women being raped okay taken cuz men are going to get back in power what gave the woman power was Esau the so-called white man because he gave them rights he gave them equal rights so they can they can easily just call on on the authorities to to uh, to basically um, punish you, okay? All right. If if well, really for whatever reason, they because they can lie. But it says, "Tremble, ye women that are at ease; be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare, and gird sackcloth upon your loins. Yeah, loins, yeah. So." They're going to be humble, okay? They're going to be extremely humble, and they're going to 
look back. Okay, a lot of these women that um that that you know in the kingdom, they're gonna look back like, damn, they're gonna be ashamed because they're gonna be like, I was a fucking hoe. I was I was celebrating hot girl summer. I was doing all this. I was doing all that, and they weren't taking heed to to how a woman is supposed to be. Okay, a woman is man. Let's get into that. Let's go to Sirach twenty five. How a woman is, is supposed to be. Okay. And that's why. You know a part of this whole women being humble. That's why um, you got this. This. Um, woman as a prophet. So. <laughs> well she's not a prophet. But she calls herself a prophet. Right. And. Um, you know this. This is just another reason why. These women have to be humble. Okay. Um, a virtuous woman rejoices, uh, it's like, uh, Sirach 26 and 2. A virtuous woman rejoices her husband, and he shall fulfill the years of his life in peace. A good wife is a good portion, which shall be given in the portion of them that fear the Lord. Yeah, so a good wife is, is someone who tends to her man, okay? Let's get some more. Um, a shame, verse 15, a shame faced and faithful woman is a double grace and her continent, continent mind cannot be valued. Yeah, so a shame faced and faithful woman is a double grace. So these women are meant, are really supposed to be shamefaced, okay? They're not supposed to be unapolog unapologetically them and doing whatever they want and not caring. Okay? That's not how that's not the true nature of a woman. A woman is is meant to be led and and be humble and be righteous, okay? Be modest, okay? Wear modest apparel, okay? But yet these women have, have lost it, man. They totally lost it, okay? Because now it's, and now that's how, that's how we know, why, that's how we know we're at the end. Because, um, you know, never, never, I mean, up until now, you haven't had women just, just take over. The scriptures say the woman shall compass a man, which is a new thing. Okay, it said, I've seen a new thing on earth. A woman shall compass a, a man. So this is a new thing. That's how you know we're at the end. Because you have basically, <laughs> this has never happened before where a woman basically is value, has more value than the man. And that's why everything is turned upside down. That's why this whole society is going to be destroyed. Okay, for this whole feminism, for, for this whole feminist mindset. And hot girl summer and all this bullshit. So hot girl death to hot girl summer, death to all the hot girls. Alright. All the so-called hot girls. Okay. You know? And I'm so glad that it's not summer anymore because I'm tired of this shit, man. I'm tired of seeing these women be proud as hell and and not have any any type of care for anything, man. Alright, care about themselves twerk have no type of morals at all all right and we're us as men of the lord we're sick of it man we want our women back in their proper mind and proper order okay that's what we want we want our women back man okay we want our modest women back shame-faced women okay not no proud ass single uh hoe man all right so um, with that, um, Lord willing, you were edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. Shalom.